morning, Louis Vuitton YouTube fans. So, this is not a true unboxing, and I haven't done a video in forever, but I wanted to do a video on this bag because I am super impressed with the quality that Louis Vuitton has these days. Um, so, like I said, not a true unboxing, but I wanted to show the packaging. So, excited that the packaging is no longer brown. I know it's been like that for a little over a year now, but the royal blue and orange is so nice. And in addition to, you have the magnetic closure on the boxes. Love that, love, love that. The dust bags are even a little bit nicer. So, I wanna go over my tags real quick because I noticed something that just really stood out. So when the bag first came out um, last October, I think it was, or September, it was $1,390. But I guess because it was doing so well and on such a high demand, they decided to raise the price a little. Anyway, $1,440 plus tax is what this baby costs. I will say that if you are a bag lover and you are paying this kind of money for bags, this one is worth it. So let me just kind of go into that with you. This is the Louis Vuitton Graceful MM in the Damier of Bean. This bag is beautiful. It's a large bag. I would say it's probably about the size, maybe even a little bit bigger than the old delightful MMs that they discontinued a couple years ago. But this bag is so nice and it's so well made. I'm kind of going to show you that kind of stuff on it. I love the addition of the luggage tag. Very nice. Like you don't have to buy an additional luggage tag with this one because it's already attached. Love that. Also, they brought back the tab in the center on the front. So Louis Vuitton Paris. And I like that too because I know on the Delightfuls that they replace with the old Delightfuls. They didn't have anything here. It looked just kind of plain and kind of boring, but looks like they fixed it. So the rings on this bag are awesome. They're very nice to look at. The leather's super nice. Um, so you've got, kind of got stops on both sides so that it doesn't swivel. I mean, it swivels all the way around, but it doesn't just like do a continuous swivel like they did in the past. And then you have all of your little things there that are engraved Louis Vuitton and the little button is also engraved Louis Vuitton, but you can't really see that. But just look how nice this leather is. I love it. It's super soft and super relaxed. Um, this strap is so comfortable. So instead of being like the shiny leather that's really hard and tough on most of the bags in the past, this one's kind of a matte leather. And you know, it's just nice and soft. It doesn't hurt your shoulders. And I'm very impressed again. So you have the little Louis Vuitton Paris stamps right there in the middle of the strap. I'm gonna go over to the back of the strap. So I haven't carried this for a long time. I've had it for a couple of months. It does wrinkle a little bit. So I don't know if you can see that, but kind of some wrinkling on the underside. I know it's softer leather, that would be probably a dill, but not a big dill to me. Just kind of, yeah. Anyway, so something else I wanna point out about this bag. It has these really awesome pleats on the side. So that is a really nice addition. This one looks like it was lined up pretty close. The stitching's really nice. The back of the bag is pretty much like the front, just without the tab, but like I said, it's a really nice size bag. I think you can get a lot in this. I don't have a ton in mind, but I'll kind of show you that in a minute. In the bottom, very durable so it is a, a hobo so it does slouch a lot I have a bag organizer in mine um, but if you wanted the true hobo look you could absolutely not do a bag organizer so kind of going interior I'm gonna pull my organizer out so I can review the bag but I'm gonna open the top okay so this is how the bag is with the organizer in it it keeps it kind of structured and as you can see, the bottom's not slouching, obviously, because the organizer's preventing that. And this magnetic closure is how the bag closes. I do like this. It's very strong, so even if, I mean, you can wear your bag with it open or you can wear your bag with it closed. So that's closed and with an organizer in it. So you have structure, but no real slouch. Just kind of there in the middle where it falls. But I kind of use mine open like this, and then I kind of carry my bag not like wide open, but it makes it a little bit easier for me to get into when it's on my shoulder. So that's kind of how I wear mine. 
Um, but I have the Samorga Organizer in here for a Speedy 30. The color matches almost perfectly to the interior of the bag. But I love Samorga Organizers. I've had them in a lot of my bags. And like I said, it's the one for the Speedy 30 with the two bottle holders. I use mine for sunglasses. But very well constructed. I mean, whoever invented Samorga was absolutely intelligent because it's a great tool. So, if you take the organizer out and you close the middle section with the magnetic closure, you still kind of have the same look, but if I were to put my things in the bag, you would have a serious slouch going on because the canvas, let me just talk about that too. The canvas on this bag is so soft and luxurious. So kind of when I drop my bag like that, it just kind of all falls together. Um, we're always, you know, wanting our canvases relaxed with the bag's nice and cozy. This one's already like that, and I love that about this bag. It's so buttery. Something else I want to go into is the fabric. So the interior lining is very, very silky and soft, and in the past it's been kind of hard and rough. This bag, it's not like that. You kind of look and see, you kind of see a little silky going on there, but I love the interior of this bag. I love the canvas. This bag was very well made. Um, so kudos to Louis Vuitton because this is worth every penny in my opinion. So in Terry you have just like a gigantic area, hence the organizer, but you do have the zipped area on the back. I mean, I know I've heard people saying it's really hard to get into this whenever the bag's on. I could see that. The only reason I use mine for is for wallets and things I want to keep secure, so I'm not really needing to get into them in the middle of the day when I'm using my bag anyway, so not a big deal. But you can fit a lot in this. I mean, it's very wide and very deep. So, I mean, any pretty much any full-size wallet will fit in there. The zipper pulls are pretty much exactly the same as they have been. And then you have the stamp. The stamp had there, um, pretty typical. This one was made in the U.S. And something I've noticed too lately is the Louis Vuitton bags that are made in the U.S. are having a TX state code, meaning I'm guessing they're made in Texas. I didn't really know that until I bought this bag, but kind of cool. Kind of cool to know. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't know what much more to say about this, but this is the most comfortable, amazing looking bag that I, you know, have had in this type of, um, you know, I've had more of the expensive bags and then I've had Speedies and Everholes, but in this type, I, I love this bag. I would recommend it to anyone. I do know that it comes in a PM size, which is probably a little smaller, obviously a little smaller. Um, could do it without an organizer, but like I said, I like the organizer because I think it gives it some nice structure and then your things are not lost in the bottom of the bag and you're also protecting you know, your interior of your bag not to get dirty from just every day putting your hands inside it. Even though it's a red lining, it'll still get dirty. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's really pretty much all I have to say about it. I just kind of wanted to emphasize on how awesome the canvas is and how well the interior and everything, how well this bag was just constructed in general. Um, so I don't have any complaints and I don't have any real cons about it. So if you're considering buying this bag, I think it's a wonderful investment and I think it's something that you'll enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, have a wonderful weekend. Thanks. Bye-bye.